Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video. If you are new to the Perfect Balance channel, you know what to do. Click the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you're notified as soon as we drop new content. I dropped the new video yesterday, so go give that a watch. That is about binaural beats, about how the ancient Egyptians used sounds and frequencies to help manifest certain goals, so such as... We use the fitness analogy a lot of us experience muscle soreness so they would help use frequencies and sounds to help heal the body quicker and help recovery a recovery sort of thing so if you're in the fitness space definitely worth giving that video a watch and sort of do some research into binaural beats so yeah in this video i just want to quickly discuss another topic and that is speech and being able to talk to peers large audiences maybe you do online content you do a video channel yourself for me this is fairly new and i'm still trying to work on my verbal speech and articulate my words precisely and deliver a good message across my my videos and a lot of youtubers and influencers have, have brought this up of late and that is a lot of people just can't talk they can't deliver the message correctly it comes out clumsy and a big one on that and they, they don't have room to make the mistakes is podcasters if you've got a podcast and you're constantly um ooming ahhing saying the same words having to think and not being able to run a smooth sentence and you're constantly repeating yourself sort of thing it's not great content, it's not great for the listeners, it's it's stuttery, it's choppy, it's just, it's got to put people off and there's a lot of influencers that I follow who make me want to self-improve and I'm just going to give you guys some of the, the tips they gave me and that is to A, obviously film yourself and make sure you reflect and look back on where you did well, what you sort of feel you can improve on uh, I don't want to sound hypocritical hypocritical in this video I'm going to make mistakes still but I'm trying to take the accountability and improve on all my videos and my speech so being able to record yourself and go through and listen to yourself so at first it is a little bit weird it can be a little bit cringy but if you want to improve and you want to deliver good quality videos then that is one way to sort of improve on that aspect and build confidence how can we build build on confidence life experiences getting out there's so many people that just sit at home and just play games all day i'm 31 years of age and there's still guys in particular sitting around at home just playing games not taking in any life experiences not helping people out not trying to learn a new skill and being com being comfortable with what is uncomfortable we've all heard that saying before if you're in the fitness world so yeah it's just pushing the boundaries each each day it's it's, it's sharpening your eyes sharpening your axe it's it's growing upon and growing by putting yourself out there and, and building confidence that's why a lot of people say about going to the gym because a, the gym is a great place to build confidence both aesthetically and self-esteem dealing with new people, speaking to new people, asking for help by new people, learning new experiences from people who have been in the fitness industry for a long, long time and not being intimidated by that. So that's another another thing to sort of achieve and, and conquer is your self-esteem and your confidence. So those two things, practicing, recording yourself, going through the good things and the negative things, <coughs> excuse me going to the gym and building confidence speaking to new people even if you're just saying hello and you're passing by giving compliments out build yourself esteem up by doing that each each day and push the boundaries and yeah so like i said before in the podcast world in particular you you haven't got a leg to stand on when it's um uh what should i say what pre-plan Play plan what it is you're going to say. Even if you have notes and you're looking down and you have to go through your notes and cross things out, then do it. 
Another thing that sort of grinds me with people online in particular, and you might have noticed this in my videos, I don't chop my videos, I don't really edit my videos, and it saves me a whole lot of time with editing. I hate editing, I'm not a big editor, I'm not really a big editor guy, and it's great to see a lot of content creators have the graphic designers and they've got all the great sort of animations in the videos and stuff like that. But in the early days, in particular, when you're building your channel, your delivery and your quality of messages is, is the most important thing. That's what's going to help your channel grow. And the value of information that you give out in your videos is, is what's going to help you you grow at first before you need to invest in, into, the, into those sort of graphics and things like that. If you know how to do it yourself, then fair enough. That is great. That will help add the... The quality to the video but i still believe firmly if you don't have life experiences you don't have stories you don't have knowledge you don't have information knowledge is power we all know this so make sure you use it um i've just said um uh, there's another critical view for me on reflection straight away i'm going to wrap it up i hope this helps you guys out i know it's a bit off topic for this channel but i do want to cover different aspects that i do believe that the gym is a big factor in health and self-esteem and, and speech in particular and like i said at the start of the video i'm not perfect i'm working on it i'm growing in confidence so if it works for me it can work for you guys give this video a thumbs up give it a comment down below i look forward to hearing from you guys recommendations if you've got any do you record yourself and look back at it do you go to the gym? Do you give compliments out? Like I said in, in the video, do you sort of have different ways of building your speech improvement? See you guys in the next one. Peace for now.